So a few months ago I went and released a add-on for the Blender game engine called the post-processing filters add-on and basically what it did is in the render settings it just added in this extra panel down the bottom which would allow you to add all sorts of filters to your games to make them look nice. Now this filter worked fine in version 2.77 of Blender but as soon as version 2.78 came out there were a couple issues in regards to removing scripts then also in regards to uh, changing a couple things and then also it wouldn't work in the up BGE branch so if we go to the splash screen here you can see I am using it now and that it is working so in this sort of update basically what I've added is I've added support for the new up BGE branch so if you're using up BGE it will work uh, within that sort of game engine. I've also added dynamic controls to the bloom filter. So in the previous versions with normal bloom you did not have a variable to change so the set amount was fixed within the script. You could change a script but you couldn't change a property so now with this new update when you click add you'll be given a property to change how much there is. Now additionally to this, uh, there was also a similar issue for the chromatic aberration. First of all, it wasn't working in the new 2.78, so I figured out how to fix that. But even though that was fixed, it was still an issue because you couldn't change how much chromatic aberration you have within the game. So I've added in a new filter to replace the old one. Uh, it might run a little bit slower, but it allows you to change how much you uh, can see of the chromatic aberration. So what we can do now is we can add ourselves in chromatic aberration, click add filter, and now we're also given a aberration field, and in here we can change how much of it we have. And last but not least, I've also fixed a bug in regards to the remove button that used to bring up an error whenever you remove a script. Uh, and the reason for that was, I think, some sort of change in the API. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a small update on version 1.5 of the Blender Game Engine post-processing add-on. Again, there's a link down in the description below if you want to get the updated version. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for the great year. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next one.